Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia. Today's broadcast. Regular session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia. Does hatred of Azerbaijan to Armenians have a limit? Victims of Western Armenia. Khosrov Kyukchan. High-ranking officers visit the Iranian embassy in Yerevan to pay their respects. Famous preserved forts and fortresses of Western Armenia. Ardahan. Armenian nation and Armenian heritage. The exhibition entitled Blossoming Pomegranate from the Land of Noi has been opened in China. Regular session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia on May 22 on the online platform of Sky on the was held. Nelly Harutunyan, the chairwoman of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, made an opening speech at the session, presenting the organizational aspects of the participation of deputies, greeting speeches and the Zoom meeting on the occasion of the 11th anniversary of the Armenian National Assembly on May 24. In the second part of the agenda, the subject of the upcoming third convocation, the second plenary session, was discussed. At the end of the session, a number of agenda and current issues were also discussed. Paris nor Yara, if there is a field where Azerbaijans are unbeatable, that one is undoubtedly the creation in Armenian hatred. Thus, we are informed that on the coat of arms of the Azerbaijan soldiers, it is written, don't run away Armenians or not, you will die exhausted. In other words, when an Armenian meets an Azerbaijan, he should immediately offer his neck to him if he does not want to suffer the same fate, to be slaughtered and toil for nothing. A photo of Enver Pasha, one of the architects of the genocide against Armenians, is placed in the center of the flag. It is obvious that in the consciousness of the Azerbaijan leadership, there is a serious historical continuity between the genocide of 1915 and today. Khosrov Kurkchan, the son of Grigor Kurkchan, a famous equiver in Harvard, he received his initial education in Harvard, then in 1883 he went to Lyon and studied to make silk waving for a years. In 1884, he bought necessary cars and returned to Harvard, refitted his father's factory and took over the management of the factory. In 1895, the factory was destroyed by Turkish thugs. He apparently converted to Islam to save his family from immediate danger, and he managed to send his wife and two sons to America. While Turk realized that he converted to Islam in order to gain time, they made severe punishment against him, and he was axed by Turks. He was one of the victims of the genocide against Armenians. High-ranking officer visit the embassy of Iran in Yerevan to pay their respects. High-ranking officers in Eastern Army visited the embassy of Iran in Yerevan to pay their respects over the tragic death of the president of Iran, Ayatollah Said Ibrahim Raisi, Foreign Minister Hussein Amir, Abdullah, and accompanying officers on board on the helicopter. It should be noted that yesterday the embassy of Iran issued a message stating that on May 22 and 23, a funeral register will be opened at the embassy of the Islamic Republic of Iran, where it will be possible to make an entry. After the tragic accident of the helicopter of the president of Iran, Ibrahim Raisi, and the people accompanying him, Iran continues to receive condolences from different countries. Iran's deputy ambassador, Behram Toeri, held a briefing with journalists in Yerevan and noted that Iran continues to receive condolences from friendly countries after the tragic accident of helicopter of the president of Iran, Ibrahim Raisi, and the people accompanying him. A very painful and difficult incident happened for the people of Iran. After that incident, we received messages of condolence from our friend countries. We also received messages of condolence from our dear friend, the people of government and Armenia. On behalf of the ambassador as well as the entire staff of the embassy, I thank the people of Armenia and the government for the support and I wish the people of Armenia peace, prosperity and prosperous days, said the deputy ambassador. Ardahan Fortress was also called Kajat's Fortress. It is uh, located in the center of the cold city on a high and hard to reach rock hill. It had existed since ancient times. In the 9th century, it passed to the Bagratunis. The later remodeled and further strengthened the fort. In the 8th, 11th century, the Ardahan Fortress was captured by Georgian troops. In 1246, the fortress was taken over the, by Mongols. In 1266, the fortress passed to Sanskhe Sadabago, Georgian rule. At the beginning of the 15th century, Ardahan Fortress was conquered by Sultan Suleiman I of the Ottoman Empire. In 1555, it became the center of Ardahan province of Akhaltsha. In 1828, on August 22, Russian troops captured the Ardahan Fortress and destroyed it. In 1829, on September 2, by the peace treaty of 
Adriana Ball, the fortress of Ardahan was again returned to Turkey. In 1877, on May 5, Russian troops again occupied the fortress of Ardahan. 1877-1878, as a result of the Russian-Turkish war, both the Ardahan fortress and the entire Ardahan region were annexed to Russia, entering the Kars region. In 1918, on March 6, Turkish troops invaded Transcaucasia, captured Ardahan. In the spring of 1919, Ardahan was liberated by the Armenian British troops and joined the Republic of Armenia. At the beginning of November 1920, it was captured by Turkish troops led by Kazim Karabekir Pasha. Now about an Armenian traditional dish called harissa. Food culture undoubtedly plays an important role in the formation of national identity and the entire social order. In Western Armenia, many things are connected with legends or stories, which are replenished by the national cuisine. Our mountains, rivers and lakes, apricots and pomegranates, grapes and wine, lavash, give deep meaning to our cuisine. All traditions determine our perception of the world and our being a nation. And in this whole system, food culture is really special and important. Although the Turks in 2011 in UNESCO registered Harissa as a Turkish national dish, it remains an Armenian dish. Harissa was considered a Navasarjan dish. It was cooked all night on the first month of Navasar, August 11, when Armenia celebrated the New Year with a popular celebration. Besides being a ritual dish, Harissa is also classified as a powerful dish. This porridge like dish was one of the main dishes of the Armenian army because it is very nutritious and has a useful properties. Harissa as a dish played a higher role during the self defense of Mount Musa because the people of Musa Ler defending themselves on the mountain side had nothing else to eat except wood lamp. And Harissa saved them. After the establishment of the present Musaler village every year on the first Sunday of September, Harissa is cooked here to celebrate the victorious self-defense of Musa Mountain. Although UNESCO recognized Harissa as a Turkish national food, this has already been assessed as a wrong decision because Armenians cooked Harissa even before the Turks were formed as a nation. Also, they cannot have Harissa because they are not familiar with the grains in the case of Samolina. The exhibition entitled Flowering Pomegranate from the Land of Noi was opened on International Museum Day in China. 94 unique exhibits from the collection of Yerevan History Museum were presented. Traditional costumes, carpets, silver, jewelry, and embroidery table were from 18th-20th centuries. The exhibition was organized in accordance with the cooperation agreement signed between the Armenia Chinese Partnership Center, the Yerevan History Museum, and the Xi'an Museum of the Republic of China. The opening was attended by official guests, artists, cultural figures and visitors. Since the opening day, the number of daily visitors to the exhibition has exceeded more than 10,000 people. After the opening ceremony, the deputy director of Yerevan History Museum presented the history and culture of Armenia and Yerevan in a two-hour lecture. It should be noted that the exhibitions of Armenian culture in China started back in January from the Nigbo Museum. The exhibition will run until August 18, continuing the important traditions in the chain of armenian Chinese cultural cooperation. This was all for today. Goodbye.